Hi everyone, just another short video here on an update to my uh, bench power supply here. Um, first of all, thanks to one of the comments on YouTube there uh, pointing me uh, towards uh, the fact that uh, circuit specialists don't manufacture these uh, power supplies. They're actually manufactured by a company called QJE. And actually when you look inside, I never really noticed some of the circuit boards inside do have QG, QJE stamped all over them. So apparently these power supplies uh, are basically um, rebadged under various different uh, uh, companies. So, well, so far uh, I've only ever seen circuit specialists. But there you go. Anyway, so as it turns out, these power supplies are probably a lot more common uh, than what I'd given them uh, credit for. So anyway, back to my modifications that I made to the power supply uh, on the last video where I put a push button in the front panel here in order to allow me to monitor this, the current set on the display. Well, Jerry Sweeney uh, uh, commented on YouTube there that why don't I uh, put a one shot, something like a 555 uh, on the switches, on, to, on the up down switches here so that when I press them I'll actually um, you know, flip over a relay inside the power supply and allow it to monitor the, uh, the CC set current on the display and then obviously when I let go of the push buttons for a, a second or two it would revert back to current monitor uh, mode. Um, so that's exactly what I've done so as it turns out as you can see there's no more push button on the front. So basically, if you don't do anything, it's just as per stock, you've got the, the current uh, output on here and obviously the voltage there. But if I go into CC mode and then start hitting the button here, the 555 activates and you can see I'm now able to set the current and go up and down. And obviously if I leave it for a second, it reverts back, it times out, 555 times out and it reverts back via the relay to the current monitor mode. So I'll just do that again. As soon as I hit the button, there, it, there we go. Back down to one amp or so again. Let go, second later, it reverts back. So basically there's the small bit of Edo board there with the 555 and the relay on it. Um, replacing the, basically the switch that I had in the front panel before. I've still got the op amp that I'd added in the other day uh, to buffer the signal from the digital potentiometer. I haven't bothered to move that up onto the Vero board. Uh, it was already on here so I just left it. So the output of the op amp now uh, is going, instead of going direct to the switch in the front panel, it's now going to weigh up up onto the board, new board here. Uh, onto the relay and I've got the signal that was the this wire here, this blue wire here that was originally driving the LCD up on here, the, the ammeter on the display basically that's interfaced to the relay as well and the output from the relay is then coming out on this brown wire here and it's basically going direct up onto the ammeter there so the relay there is basically replacing the, the switch that I had in the front panel before um, so that's basically it. So let's take a look at the, uh, the circuit diagram. I've drawn a quick sketch here. Um, so basically there's the 555, there's the, the, the relay, relay there, the coil for the relay and a FET drive in it. And basically uh, it's hooked up as a, a one shot, uh, a resettable uh, one shot. So basically if you're on the power supply continually pressing the up button or the down button the 555 is not going to time out it's going to restart the, the timer effectively so that's good functionality there so that's how this is all operating and basically I've got a blocking diode here which I'm interfacing to the uh, power supply uh, main control board there basically tapping off of the the, 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 the up down uh, signal from the two push buttons so that's basically coming in there so if I take a look at the schematic here that I've drawn up for the power supply. Um, the original, of course I have got the original um, diagram for the power supply but it's a little bit unreadable in terms of uh, uh, symbology, the, the way they've drawn the NAND gates and all that sort of thing. So I kind of decided just to redraw it myself. So over at this side here you've got the digital potentiometer then you've got all the, the logic associated with the up-down CC, CV control. So basically over here you can see the up-down push buttons. There already is a couple of blocking diodes 
on the board so it's not like I needed to interface both of those signals basically I just need to take a tap of the diodes here uh, and way off to the the 555 circuits this signal here is basically reactive to the up or down control so that will keep the the 555 reset in there so that's basically how I've interfaced to the um, uh, control board and the power supply so that's it. I think uh, this power supply is uh, possibly good to go now. I think we're done and dusted with that there. I think now my tension will turn to the uh, my main bench power supply up up here. Of course, I'm not going to add in a couple of switches in the front there. I'm going to go along the same route as to what I've just done with this uh, smaller power supply, and I'm going to add in the 555 circuit up into that one there. However, I don't think I'm going to bother with uh, um, Vero board. I think I'm actually going to go up and design a... Uh, a proper PCB that can fit uh, into the power supply here that will include the buffer op amp uh, as well, everything on it and uh, possibly make that uh, Eagle PCB files available for download with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the bill of materials and all that sort of thing so, so people can go away and make their own modification. Thanks for watching.